Better meetings start here with the OWL Meeting Pro. We'll get started with setting it up for use in the classroom. Inside the box, you'll find most of the items you need to get started, your OWL, your cords, and instructions. Let's zoom in and you'll find volume controls, the mute and unmute button, the option button for advanced troubleshooting, and to help bypass the mobile app. And of course, a space where you can plug in your cords. Let's start by peeling the plastic of our 360 camera. And this is the USB extension cable that comes in the box. It'll allow you to increase the distance from your camera to your computer if needed. Inside of the Better Meeting Start Here box, you will find some information, a sticker, and your Getting Started Guide. All the things that you might want to take a peek at. You'll see that in the box we also have the power cable and we have the USB cable that will connect to your computer and of course the brick that we're going to use to plug into our OWL. So let's get started with step one in the directions. You'll take your micro USB cable, unwind it, and very carefully locate the port that you will plug that micro USB cable into. Plug it in and you should be good to go. Take the power cable and unwrap it. We'll go ahead and get the power supply brick and unwrap it as well. We'll go ahead and take the cable, plug it in, and then we should be ready to connect this to our OWL very carefully. And when you're ready, it should be safe to plug it into the wall. You'll hear three hoots when your OWL Pro is ready to go. Next, take the USB cable and plug it into the USB connection on your computer. Of course, I don't have a USB connection, so I need an adapter, but most EPISD teachers can plug it directly into their computer. Again, there are directions in the box to help you get started. Out of the box, my Meeting Owl Pro has not been set up, so I am asked to download the Meeting Owl mobile app. If you prefer to bypass the mobile app, you'll want to press the option button for 10 seconds. Using a mobile device, locate the App Store and search for Meeting Owl. I will demo on an iPad. Take a moment to install the free app and open it when it is ready. Upon launching the app, you'll be asked if you would like to receive notifications and use Bluetooth. Go ahead and select OK for Bluetooth and allow notifications. You'll want to locate the Meeting Owl Pro that's in your vicinity. And if asked, you'll want to go ahead and register your device. Let's take a moment to name our OWL. Technology Services recommends the school location code hyphen, the room number, hyphen, the username of the main teacher assigned to that classroom that the OWL will be located in. This is really important because if there are several OWLs in your vicinity, it helps you connect to your OWL easily and quickly so that you can control the camera and meet the needs of your students in the classroom and those that are learning virtually. I am very interested in automatic software updates, so I will go ahead and press connect. Through the mobile app, there is a guided setup. Let's take a moment to walk through it. OWL recommends that you place the OWL at least three feet from the TV or your projection screen. Of course, you'll want to tinker with this in your classroom to find the best setup for your students. Next, let's select the conference software that we have access to. Here in EPISD, we have access to Zoom, Cisco, WebEx, and Microsoft Teams. Since I don't see Teams here, I'll go ahead and select Other. Head on over to your conferencing tools and make sure that you set up Meeting Owl for your camera, microphone, and speaker. Taking advantage of this all-in-one with the camera, microphone, and speaker will make a huge difference in your classroom. We are almost ready to have a great session with our students. 
I know we're excited, but it's really important out of the box to utilize the mobile app to perform any updates that are needed for the Meeting Owl Pro. I selected About Your Owl. Here you'll find information about your Meeting Owl Pro. I'm looking for the software update available. If your owl is in a meeting, it will not be able to perform that update. So disconnect and make sure that you take a moment to update your Meeting Pro Owl. For myself, I had to perform two updates in order for the owl to be completely up to date. When your owl is up to date, you will hear three hoots. Head back to About Your Owl once your owl is up to date. It's important to take a look at how to set your owl passcode. Here you'll see to set a numeric passcode to restrict who can access the OWL's settings. Here, you'll see that you can set a numeric passcode to lock out other users from navigating and controlling your OWL without your permission. Let's take a look at using the Meeting OWL Pro in the classroom. There will be many times that you choose to project your students in the classroom as you're having discussions, interacting, and playing learning games. There may also be times that you choose not to project as you're doing a modeled lesson or a redo activity with your students. How will you know if your OWL camera is on? The eyes will glow. If you take advantage of the microphone feature on your Meeting OWL Pro, you can simply press the button and a red light and red icon will appear when you are mute. Press the button one more time to unmute. Your Meeting Owl Pro has a focused view and a panel view of the classroom at the top. If two people are speaking in the classroom, you'll notice the split view will appear. Your Meeting Owl Pro can also adjust back to the one speaker mode. If you prefer to utilize your Owl Pro further away from your computer, it'll be important to utilize the extension cable. You'll simply plug the USB into the extender instead of your computer. And take the other end of the extender USB cable and plug it into your computer. Then you can safely move your computer to a safe space in the classroom further away from your Meeting Owl Pro. Let's take a minute to explore and see why you may want to consider utilizing the optional Meeting Owl mobile app during your classroom session. I have launched my app and it does notice that I have not connected my Owl Meeting Pro to my computer. Once I plug it in, I will see this view. If your Meeting Owl app is up to date as of January 12th, it should look something similar to this. You'll notice that you have a way to lock and zoom to focus on a person. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And you'll notice that as a teacher, you now have control of the camera and the view. So you can simply move it across to pan and then up and down. If you need to zoom in on a subject, you would simply zoom and use this slider. If you want the Owl Pro to navigate on its own, you can of course select this and turn it off and it'll go back into controlling on its own. As a person in charge of controlling your Owl Meeting Pro, you can also choose to turn off the 360 pano or turn on the 360 pano. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about the OWL Meeting Pro. It's time for me to say goodbye to my class and for you to get started on using this awesome tool in the classroom.